Hi, my name is Philip Payne, and I'm the founder and CEO of Aportis. We're in the third stage of the opioid technology challenge put on by the state of Ohio, and we're excited to tell you about our platform, our solution, and how we're going to go about creating a big dent in this universe. Imagine a mother of two has several jobs to support the family, and it's two o'clock in the morning and she needs to make a change. She decided she's made a change. We call that the moment of readiness. And in that moment of readiness, the Aporta solution is there to support her. Through a big red button that she just has to push on her cell phone, she'll be instantly connected to a counselor and they can start having the conversation. She can remain anonymous until she feels comfortable and confident that this is a way for her to seek treatment and not have any repercussions with the authorities. How it works is when that person that's in that moment of readiness hits that big red button, it works out in a concentric circle, trying to find as localized support as they can through a localized clinician. If it can't find anybody at that two o'clock in the morning, we have umbrella coverage for 24 seven, so they're gonna find somebody. We're never gonna leave anybody stranded. Over this last year, it's been a journey for Aportis as well as we've been learning more and more about this crisis that's happening in Ohio and how it is actually changing. When we first started to tackle this problem, we looked at the counties in the southeast corridor of the state, the very rural areas where the pill mills were. And we went and we talked to the local authorities, the local health boards, and tried to understand their problems, what their needs are, and bake that into the Aporta solution. But over this year, the crisis itself has been changing, and we've been changing along with it. So we do understand what's needed in, this, in the rural communities, but now we're watching the introduction of fentanyl coming up through 77, 71, and 75. We've come to learn a lot of things, and a lot of it has been just communicating and talking with the support networks within Ohio, from the local level all the way up to the state. Winning this will give us the ability to finish the platform out and all the needs and wants of Ohio to help our fellow Ohioans. We know that to make this a successful project is all about distribution. The way to do this is through a simple link that we're going to advertise all over the state. It's gonna be pushed out through billboards, radio, TV, on business cards that first responders will have, that they can hand out to and tuck it into a shirt, somebody that might have overdosed, just to get this in front of them. Then at that moment of readiness, that link will be there and that button will be there. And then they can start their journey. There's well over 100,000 Ohioans dealing with this problem currently. Our small company out of Dublin, Ohio, wants to help our community. And we know that the distribution of our platform with the backing of the state of Ohio will create a big dent in this problem.